Hello everyone, this is Daniel and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up SNMP monitoring for PRTG server. Uh, SNMP stands for Simple Network Management Protocol and you can use it to monitor tons of different stuff on your devices with the PRTG uh, server. So the video screen right now is our client that I'm going to be monitor monitoring from my server. So this is just Windows, 9, uh, Windows 10 Pro. Uh, you can see here in the settings I'm running uh, Windows version 1909. Um, the reason that's important, um, if you have an older version, it's easier to set up SNMP. Um, SNMP is now deprecated, so you have to install it through PowerShell, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Then we'll be switching over to the PRTG server and setting up the sensor so we can monitor Wi-Fi bandwidth and similar things. So first I'm going to show you how to install the SNMP service. Now normally what you would do if you have a version uh, 1809 or older, um, it would be easily accessible. You'd go to control panel, click on programs go to turn windows features on or off and you would scroll down through there and there would be a tab that actually says simple network management protocol there'd be a couple drop down menus another would be um, WMI and you'd want to enable both of those so if you have an older system or an older version you can do that but I um, as you update you're gonna have to do it this way probably so I, I already have PowerShell open here um, so the two commands, there's a few commands that you need to do, but first I'm going to see if it's installed. So, uh, doing this on your machine will be different because, uh, you won't have it installed. I already have it installed. So I'm going to say get windows capability, hit enter, then dash online dash name, then you put quotations around it, S N M P asterisk then close that quotation mark hit enter and it's gonna say state installed um, but for you it might say it's gonna say not present so to install it this is the command you're gonna do you're gonna do add dash windows capability dash online dash name and then you're going to type in that name that you see on the above screen. So that snmp.client, and I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, you're going to do that as it is, types there, close the quotations, hit enter. It's going to tell me the operation's running, and just just a few seconds, it should finish up. So now it says it's online and it says I do not need a restart. It should be good to go. So now if we do the get Windows capability again, um, and this isn't going to be different for me, but it will be for you guys, it's going to say installed now. So that shows that it is now installed. So now if you want to see where it is running, you can uh, type in your search bar services and you'll see the application pop up. I'm doing all of this from an administrator level account. You can scroll down here until you find SNMP, and you should see that SNMP service before you installed that it was not there. Um, and you'll also see this SNMP trap, and you can just leave that as it is. So you're going to see um, automatic, it's not started yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start, and it's going to start up. So I have that running now. Um, so a couple other things I need to do is I need to set some logons for it. Um, I need this requires me to ha use an account on my computer, so you can't just make an account. Um, I tried doing that; that's not how it works. So you can pick an. I picked a different account on my computer that has administrator le level privileges. I'm not sure if it needs that, but that's just what I did. Um, so I set that up. I set the password up. And I didn't change any of the recovery settings, um, but you can do that if you want. I didn't change anything there. I didn't change anything there. So here in security, 
I this is where I set up some different things. So if you know the IP address of your PRTG server, you can go in here and just say accept SNMP packets from these hosts, so it will only accept it from your PRTG server. Uh, that's much more secure, obviously. Um, but if you don't want to deal with that and you're just in a testing environment, it's fine to just say accept from any host if you're working with a few virtual machines. There's nothing wrong, you just wouldn't want to do that in production. Okay, and then the next thing you have to do, I'm just going to remove that really fast, is you need to add, and then the name, I just add the defaults, and you may have to change this if you're in a production setting, this is just for example. I just added community name public, and clicked add, and then for, I'm going to re-enter my IP address. So now it's only going to accept it from my PRTG server, and that's what I want. I'm going to click Apply. And that should be it. So a few other things that you want to make sure is your firewall is going to maybe have some cause you some issues if you're not careful with that. So um, you'll want to open up Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. So this is where your um, specific rules are. Um, you can scroll down. These are the inbound rules. Uh, you can scroll down to SNMP, and you can see that it is allowing traffic on the domain and on the private and public side. And you can see the trap service is working for the private and public side. So you can just leave that. You might want to check your outbound rules too, and just check that. I can see that that's, those both are enabled. Other than that, if you have a specific problem, uh, PRTG's default port for SNMP is 161. So if you're still, if you still have your firewall on, and for some reason you can't get that out, you might need to create a custom rule and allow that port in and out. Uh, over TCP and UDP and see if that helps. Um, I just turned my firewall off since I'm just um, practicing setting this up. So that should be it for your client side. That's all the stuff you need to configure for this uh, client so that it can be monitored by your server. So I'm going to now, and you can see here my firewall is off, but now I'm going to switch over to my PC that's running my PRTG server and show you how that is working. Hello everyone. So now I'm here on my PRTG server that I have running. And I'm going to be showing you how to add an SNMP sensor. So first off, this is the home page for PRTG when you install it if you don't have the desktop version or um, a website. Um, so this is the home page. It shows you sensors and shows me my license status. Um, I'm going to click here on devices and this shows you um, all of your devices This is um, and then different groups um, according to your um, what it's discovered. So you can here I see here I have the local probe which is sitting here on my laptop. I have um, network infrastructure, so I have my gateway, so my Wi-Fi router that's sitting in my living room. That's that. And then I can see here I have Windows, clients and servers, I have some printers. So there's not really much going on right now. I deleted all my virtual machines that it picked up just to clear things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that Windows client that I was just working on. So to do that, I'm going to click on Add Device. You can choose a name. I'm going to just name it the... Uh, model number, model name, HP Elite Book. And so now I'm going to type in the IP address of that device. So you can choose an icon. I'm going to choose this HP icon. I'm just going to keep it on node, auto discovery, um, credentials from Windows systems. I'm going to remove that. So here, 
is I'm going to have to put in the exact computer name because this isn't on a domain. So but then you're gonna type in the user, so I'm just gonna use a not my normal user, just another one on the account on the computer. I'm gonna add my password. So now credentials for SNMP, you can just leave it to inherit from client, so it's inheriting the credentials from the group above it, so it would be the same for all of your clients. If you don't want that to be the case, you could click, you could uncheck that, and then you could choose ports, you could choose this string, uh, string name, um, but I'm just going to leave that on because it, it's going to be the same. So after I do that, I'm going to hit OK. And you're going to see this pop up right here. And it's not going to have any sensors running on it. You can run auto discovery if you want it. Auto discovery will set up sensors for it, like ping. But I'll, I'll make a simple video showing how to make a sensor. Um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to click Add Sensor. Um, and you can type in and search for SNMP, or you can scroll down through this large number of options, or you can just choose what you want to monitor. So I want to monitor bandwidth, um, and I'm, my target system is Windows, and then technology used, I'm going to use SNMP. Um, PRTG recommends SNMP over WMI, WMI, which can do the same things, but they recommend SNMP. So then I that's my criteria and then the most used sensor types um, it says SNMP traffic so I'm gonna select that um, and it's gonna be working and we're gonna see if this is successful it should be so now it's going to um, ask me to do a couple of different things you can set the priority I'm just gonna bump it up one star so that I can see the nice graphs and then these are all the different types of interfaces that are running on that laptop that we just set up. So you can see there's some VMware um, adapters. Um, I'm not going to monitor those. I'm not really too concerned about that. So I'm going to monitor Wi-Fi traffic because that's the main network in my house that affects all the other devices. And I want to keep a tab on that. So I'm just going to do that for right now. If you have Ethernet running to it, maybe you want to cl click on Ethernet and monitor that also. Um, I will select one more just for demonstration. Let's just do the loopback and then we'll create that. It's going to add the sensor and it's going to take it a while to show up some data. And real fast while that's showing up, um, I did do the install SNMP service through PowerShell just like we did for the client on the server um, which is just another laptop for me um, so I did that I also made sure that the firewall rules allowing SNMP were enabled um, I still have my firewall running as you can see the uh, Windows icon right here uh, Windows security is, is up and running so my firewall is on and it, it should work fine um, so let's see if I can refresh this All right, so here we go now. It's showing some um, data. It's showing me my traffic in and traffic out. Um, if this was a super busy uh, network, it may show that it, you know, it's pulling a lot more data. I just turned on a YouTube video so that it would draw some data. Um, and you can see that it is um, recognizing that there's some traffic there. So I'm going to go back. Um, if you're in the device overview tab, you can see both the sensors. If you lower the priority down to three, uh, that graph will disappear. So I have it on four just so I can see it. If you pop it up to five, the graph gets super big. Um, you can also do, if you're interested, you can get a recommended recommendation on a sensor. That takes a while, um, but that is an option also available. Um, while we're in the device tab, a few other things to note. Uh, here's the settings for the, your device. You can um, type in the IP address, change the name. Um, you can, if you need to change any of the credentials at any point in time, you can do that. 
So that's all available there. Uh, here we have our log, um, and it's going to show us what those sensors are capturing. Uh, sensor system information. Uh, if we have information, it's going to show, and I'm clicking this refresh tab, and it's still collecting that data. So some of it's coming in, some of it isn't quite ready to present yet. But it shows all that information, so that's super cool. Okay, so that's how you install a sensor on to monitor something on a device. Note the sensor is running on my server, it's not on the client, so just to clear that up. Uh, so if you go back just to the, the Devices tab, you can see here we have our Windows client HP Elite Book, and you can see the two sensors that we added, the loopback sensor and the Wi-Fi traffic sensor. Uh, and you can get those in real time. If something goes down, it's going to show the status is going to change to yellow or red. So hopefully you can fix it quickly. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it helpful. Hey guys, one last thing about firewalls. If you're still having problems for some reason, I didn't experience this, but if you are, uh, go to Windows Firewall. Go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall on the left hand side. And then scroll down to where you see SNMP. And this may be equivalent to going through the advanced firewall. But if those aren't, uh, check to see that those are enabled, and that might help you out. Okay, thanks for watching.